During this project, a group of students from Haitansu College of Science go on a journey all the way to Japan to find out more about Netsuki, small ivory figures on display at Hartlepool Art Gallery. What did you think of the objects when you first saw them? Weird. Why? Not something that you see every day. The objects. They were all like new and falling the fat. Amazing, because it was so detailed and because they're so Small. old. Like how so they actually did them. And didn't they used to be like fashion icons? So it's a bit yeah. strange. There used to be belt buckles in there. Yeah. So because they were so small and detailed, like every little bit had a detail on, even like the bottom mm -hmm. what you didn't see had a detail on. What did you think when you first saw the objects? Like, you know, when we got them out? Mm. I thought they were really interesting, but when you just told us they were worth, like, that much money, for what they just did, didn't seem like that. Yeah. I like looking at the detail on the mini net skews. What was the most interesting bit about them? I liked the, 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 yeah, the detail, detail on the, when, even when you turned them over. Yeah, Every part of the, the bottom, statue yeah, had a detail, detail to it, like, no matter where it was. It was just really weird how that something so small could have had so much care and detail put he into must, it. He must have used a needle or something to put the detail on. Yeah. What did you like um, the drawing bit? Yeah, I like that because usually we um, we draw landscapes and stuff, so it was nice to draw yeah. something like a little ornament. And yeah, we could pick out which good. bits of it we wanted to draw as well. It took a lot yeah, of concentration yeah. as well. It was fun as so. well. That was good as well. Yeah, but it was like it was hard. It was hard. Yeah, because she had such a small object in your. Yeah, because it was like three D and you were drawing on two D, so it was pretty hard to get the detail. Mm. I think the uh, photographs were more, more helpful yeah, than the statue was. To, yeah, because the photographs are two D as well, so it's kind of like easier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are a selection of prints from our um, woodblock print collection. As Netsky developed from the 17th century onwards, at the same time you have this new art tradition. Um, as photography became more popular, um, this art form became less popular. There are hundreds of them, and how it one of the ways it came to Europe is that um, hundreds of these prints were then used for packing ceramics and other imports into Europe. Uh, and so they arrived in Europe basically wrapped around dishes and things like that. Uh, and then people in Europe loved them and they had a huge influence on um, the art movements, in, particularly in 19th century France. Um, which is the other reason I wanted to get these out, because they're a fantastic crossover uh, and point of contact. So there's a selection here um, of classic woodcut prints that might inspire you or give you some ideas um, in terms of animation. Meeting the Japanese people and yeah. talking to them about the culture, why they came here, and stuff like that, because it helped us understand um, what we were doing better. It's not an interview, but they just prepared a couple of questions. Oh, yeah. Easy, easy. Easy question. <laughs> Could you please tell us the story behind why you came to England to study? So, hey. Oh, oh God, God. because my mum made me to. No, <laughs> 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 So, go up. Why did you come over to you kiss it after you give me? What does Konnichiwa mean? Hello. Hello. At first it was dead awkward, wasn't it? Because they yeah. like, all coming in talking Japanese. Yeah. We were just like, um, are you talking oh. about us? <laughs> yeah, but then 
Yeah, it was good when we went over to the thing that looked like a library. And uh, that was good as well. I liked reading the comics. Yeah, it was good when we read them the opposite way to read it. Do any of that today? So what we're going to concentrate on is, is silhouette animation, um, which is basically just cut out animation, two D animation um, that you do under a camera, um, and you just sort of move it under the camera. As a general sort of thing, you'll be making um, a character, and then using you know like the clip fasteners, the split pin fasteners, you sort of put them into each joint where the crosses are, and so that they can kind of move. The stories behind Netsuke can be about anything really to do with folk traditions, legends, religion and daily life in Japan over 250 years ago, that's when they were produced. Well, the task for the students here is to try and capture the essence of their figure story in the animation. And um, of course the tricky bit is to make the storyline short and concise, but still keep the necessary contents. The characters the students produce here by um, cutting out the silhouette figures are based on how the makers of their Netsuki imagined them all these centuries ago. And of course it is quite difficult to transfer a 3D figure into a 2D silhouette. The groups also need their creativity because the figures don't show all the characters that appear in the stories which, of course, to Japanese people who used the Netsuki in their time, all these characters would have been familiar. But for us nowadays, we need our imagination to fill in the gaps, so to say. Anything you didn't like at all? Um, cutting out bit. Cutting out bit? Yeah, like the knives and that kind of... Which part of the project did you like best? The animation bit. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I like little. making the video and eating the food. Which part of the project did you like best? Animation. The animation, why? Definitely. Meeting the Japanese people. Oh yeah, well, I just like both of them really. Yeah. What, what did you like best about the animations? Uh, when we're out moving them and stuff, getting the concentration properly because they have a good laugh and everything. Yeah. How did you like um, the animation today? Oh, that was really good. It was good to see like how your like drawings and stuff could come alive in a film. And yeah. It's a good experience. It's a good experience. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't used to like good. animation. I only like drawing people, but I like doing that. Yeah, I like animation now. I didn't used to. Yeah, I discovered that I like a lot of things that I didn't think that I liked. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely great. Why did you like the um, animations best? It was fun. Yeah. fun. Looking like you're doing it and then like looking on the screen. No, that you've made that. Yeah. I thought you just looked through museum and read things. Looked at art, like it's both. Yeah. You feel special when you get to be selected for these things. Yeah. Yeah. Very that privileged. Way. Privileged, that's the word. So thankful. thankful. Yeah. Very thankful. Privileged. So will you go and get your family to come along to the art gallery and have a look at your stories? Which yeah. Will be in yeah. The yeah. They'll be so proud. Yeah. yeah. Really proud of it. I mean, Anna, she can't